pretty sure you guys have seen this by now, but looks like it's headed across the block and going to a new owner. Could be yours, lot 14391. You could buy that, that Hummer that broke the internet. Yes, you could. Today's the big day, Barrett Jackson 2024, Scottsdale, Arizona. Yeah, it's rainy. That's not gonna stop us from checking out all these rad rides. time I turn around there's another company restoring these old Broncos look at these guys right here some fine examples in their booth Max Slider Brothers Customs some premium premium Bronco examples up in the booth get a load of this looks like if you want a new one they've got you covered there too So we've parted the seas a little bit and managed to get some breathing room. Bunch of Mopars behind us, some Chevys, tons of supercars in the middle. I guess you call them supercars. I was not expecting to see this here. Dude. Yeah, so there's a little bit of weather, but uh, I like to think that means we can get better content and better pictures because there's less people in our shots. That's my wishful thinking anyways. Oh. See, it's the cool little treats like this that I love seeing at Barrett Jackson. Around every corner, it's just something different that you weren't expecting to see. Okay. How's it going? Volvo. Working hard out here in the rain. Hi, welcome to Volvo. <laughs> so what's going on here? This is an old truck, new truck, new truck, old truck. What, what I'm is saying this? it's a new truck, remodded. Yeah? Yeah, new truck. Interesting like wheel treatment, because it's a new truck. Old front end, old handles, old wheel. It's pretty wild, man. I'll give you that, it's pretty wild. Got the new front end They've got it listed as a 2020 Tahoe custom SUV. I'm curious to think what you guys think about this one. Think it's gonna go for a lot of money? Is it something you'd buy? You have all the creature comforts of a new vehicle, but cool old school looks, yeah? Bigger question I have for you, as I walk in this guy's shot, what are you gonna put on the back of this thing? If you win this, and you bid on this, and you're the lucky person to take it home, what are you hauling to the track? What are you taking to the show? Throw that up in the comments, I wanna know. I wanna know what you're hauling with this thing. Where to start, man, I'm telling you. Look, micro bus, gasser, Volkswagen. Peep the Z over there. Any questions? There you go. 
I don't know, we primarily do a lot of mini truck uh, content here on the channel. You know, that's what I built. Come on. Really, you can't, you can't get behind this? Dude, you can't see yourself in this thing right here? I mean, woo, you can tow your mini to a show with this. In the rough, guys, look at this. Check out the interior, huh? 91 V6 SR5 with the baby blue interior. What do you think? One owner on this one? It's pretty clean. Pretty clean truck. Let's see if we can get a peek at the mileage in it. Oh, is it automatic on the column? I didn't see that one coming. 77,000. It might be, it might be original. Doesn't look like they ever put a lot in the bed. It's not bashed in, slider rear window. And there you go. Rolling on dubs. Okay. Again, man, I find myself attracted to a lot of four wheel drives at this show. I say show, I, I mean auction. Like, this is killer. I got a bandit sitting right next to it. But another Toyota. Now this one's a four-wheel drive. I love this gen. I'm telling you, I think the standard cab, 85 to 88s like this. Man, if I could find one of these two-wheel drive in my price range these days, if anybody has one and you want to sell or do a little bit of horse trading or something, I, I'm always on the lookout for that. This is a clean one. I like it. Not overdone. Looks like you could still drive it, enjoy it, you know? Take it out there. Get a little dirty. Great looking truck. What we found, it's a truck. Stu Bigger Champ. Okay, so if you were gonna win this at auction, would you take it home and bag and body this thing? That's the question. Something that's probably interesting to note is there's more than just expensive collector cars here. There's also TV and movie cars and celebrity cars here. This is one that was uh, used on a little show called The Sopranos. Might have heard of it. And it looks like uh, it's a mix of real and simulated pools. I'm gonna say someone had a great day shooting this thing out. That's cool. It's not every day you see a fully customized, I guess you would say uh, 50 style custom Rolls Royce. This thing is pretty incredible. It has all the class, even right hand drive that you would expect to see in a classic Rolls Royce. But as you come down the side, somebody's gave it the full custom treatment. It's got side pipes and fender skirts and big wide white walls and pinstriping throughout this is a neat neat car i love to always kind of figure out what something like a custom silver cloud's gonna go for i mean who's the right buyer for a car like this very cool you got the dummy spotlights maybe they're real no dummies i think very neat all right after i almost just tripped and fell and almost killed myself to get over here like you guys you're totally good thank you sir you've got to see this guy right here get a load of this beauty oh says it's fully restored 80 toyota 
Definitely got some axle work done to it, some suspension work. You can see an electric fan back there. Can't tell what's going on in the engine. We'll have to read the build sheet for that. Interior looks good. Looks nice, nice little switch panel down there. Bed is cleaner than poop. Modern lights. Oh yeah, a little brace underneath. This is a nice truck, I'll take this one home. It's packed, it's loud, it's crazy. It's Barrett Jackson Scottsdale 2024. We're just getting started. Make sure to uh, like, share, and subscribe because this is just the first video of a few more I'm gonna pump out this week. There's just too much to cover.